Hey, good afternoon. My name is Craig DeYoung. I'm your golf course superintendent here at the Hendersonville Country Club. We've had a lot of exciting things going on on the golf course in the past couple of months. We've built our new tees, our new forward tees. We're excited about them opening. Our plan is to have them open on by July 4th. We've also done a lot of work on the 14th fairway, which turned out really nice. And another thing that we've done is we have resodded some damaged turf around our collars. We've also added some different kinds of turf and we've been getting a lot of questions about it. So let's go onto the golf course and I'll try to offer a little bit of insight as to what's going on. We've heard questions and comments regarding the new sod recently installed on the collars of number two and number seven greens. Let's start with a quick backstory on why this was done. Here on number 15, shade covers the right side of the green complex most of the day, causing the Bermuda grass collar to be thin and weak each season. A few years ago, we decided that bluegrass would be a better turf type in this growing environment. So we switched the Bermuda grass collar to bluegrass only on the right side while leaving the existing Bermuda grass collar on the back, left, and front of the green. Soon after seeing the success of replacing the Bermuda grass collar with bluegrass on number 15, we did the same thing here on the back collar of number 17. Again, shade was the culprit. The type of bluegrass we decided to use is called low-mow bluegrass, not fescue, which has the ability to tolerate lower mowing heights and shade. After two full seasons of growth on number 15 and 17, they have proven to be an agronomic success. This spring, a number of our Bermuda grass collars struggled during their transition from dormancy. So we decided to use this opportunity to replace additional historically weak Bermuda grass collars with bluegrass on holes two and seven. On number seven, we replaced the back section of the collar with bluegrass, leaving the remaining collar as Bermuda. The sod was about four to five inches tall when delivered and has continued growing since it was installed about 10 days ago. This sod is quickly maturing and will be cut for the first time later this week. Here on number two, new bluegrass sod was installed only on the front and left side of the green. Opposed to number seven, this area has already been mown a few times. Moving forward, the new bluegrass collar here and on number seven in time will be mowed to match the height of the existing Bermuda grass collars, providing additional sock selection and playability. All right, thanks for checking that out with me. I hope that offered a little bit of insight as to why we switched out a couple of the collars from Bermuda grass to cool season bluegrass. Um, thank you again for all your support. Thanks for checking it out. And as always, feel free to ask questions. We love to let you know what we're up to.